So I have a situation here where I'm not happy with how my toilet blocks are defined here. And in AutoCAD, we have three different ways we can we can modify our blocks. We can explode and redefine, which is kind of the the um, older method of doing things. It's been there the longest. We can use the edit block in place option, or we can use the block editor. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to make a change to this toilet block. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the edit block in place. Now with this command, unlike the explode and, and redefine option, I don't have to worry about the rotation, the scale. I don't have to worry about the insertion point because it won't allow me to redefine it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an edit block in place. I'm just selecting that option. In this case, we can see there's one block. There's no nested blocks of any type. Um, so I can see I've got this toilet block and I'm going to automatically select all nested objects. Now, if I didn't want to work with all objects in that particular block, I could actually prompt and pick the objects I want to work with. And I can see here that when I pick this, that it is going to lock objects not currently in the working set. So it's on the settings there. So I'm going to click OK. And notice that everything else has been, become grayed out or ghosted, I should say, not really grayed out. And notice that all the other instances of the block have disappeared. Now, if I take a look here, the edit reference ribbon here or panel has been added to every single um, tab here. So you can see that even the annotate tab, the edit reference block has been added. Now I'm using AutoCAD Mechanical, but the process is exactly the same whether I'm using you know, AutoCAD Mechanical, AutoCAD Electrical, if I'm using AutoCAD Architecture, the process is exactly the same. So a couple things I want to do here. One is I don't really want this circle to be part of the block, but I would like to use that in my drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove that from the working set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle and actually copy that out. So you can see that I, I was uh, able to remove that from the block. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to make a change here. So I'm going to um, extend this back here and I'm going to use the um, extend function to extend that up. And then I'll use the trim function to clean it up. So you can see I was just able to make some changes there. Okay, so I'm happy with the, with the changes I've made. I've copied that object out, um, made my changes, it looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm simply gonna save the changes. So it's gonna come up and say, are you sure? Now in this case, this is something that's specific to AutoCAD Mechanical because it actually gives me the options here to change name or to change the base point. This feature here is specific to AutoCAD Mechanical. So you won't see this if you're just using AutoCAD um, or if you're using some other flavor of AutoCAD. So I'm gonna click OK. And what I can see now is notice that the block has updated and notice that the circle is now, is now free. It's not part of the, that block anymore. Okay, well, I'd like to, to kind of redefine this block. So I'm gonna explode this actually, and I'm gonna make um, the first block here, and let's just call this, um, let's call this toilet seat. And what my base point is, oops, my base point is gonna be here. Here's my, my objects that I wanna use. And I'm gonna click okay. So that's now my toilet seat. I'm now gonna use the, um, you know, create block option and I'm gonna redefine the toilet. And this is actually gonna end up rotating everything, but I'm just gonna make a, make a point here. So let's select that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that block and the block itself. So now what I'm gonna end up with is I'm gonna end up with a block within a block. So now notice when I come in here and I run the edit block in place. So here's my edit block in place. Notice I could actually come in here and I can actually drill straight down from here, straight into that toilet seat. So I don't need to kind of, you know, go into the toilet and I need to go into the toilet seat, I can actually drill right down into the toilet seat. So when I click OK, notice how it has put me straight into that mode. And you can see that I've actually included too much geometry here. But again, I could I could copy that out or do something different in that effect. So this advantage of the of the edit block in place is how I can drill down um, and, and directly um, work with um, blocks that are within blocks. So in this case, what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy that out so let's come in here and let's uh, let's remove this from the working set. So we'll take this, we'll simply re remove that. That's been updated. Let's add a small circle in here. This is my toilet seat. I'm gonna save the changes, click OK, and notice how that has been updated in all instances. So there you have it, that's the edit block in place. Again, the, the, the pros to it, especially compared with the explode and redefine option, is that you can you, you can select the block that you want to work with, so whether it's nested or not, and you don't need to explode it. And you don't need to worry about, you know, am I working with the original orientation of the block? Um, you know, what was my insertion point? You can work with that in that instance. It also has the advantage that you can actually 
um, copy out geometry and copy in geometry. Now really the only downside to this is that you can't work with dynamic blocks. So if you have a dynamic block, so let me just drop in a, a dynamic block here. So I can see that I've got this, this dynamic block here. If I right click on it and I do an edit block in place, um, you know, I can see I'm doing a reference edit and you can see that it's got custom block properties. So you can see it's gonna break the link to the original definition um, and create a new block definition. So you're actually gonna get uh, a static block based on the geometry. So the edit block in place cannot be used with dynamic blocks.